morning, Sunday, July 31st, about six in the morning, waiting for the sun to come up, have the alpine glow behind us on Hooker Mountain. It was a lot more pink 15 minutes ago. Have some coffee. There's our tent site. Sarah's still in there sleeping. And just waiting for the sun to come up over here. You're wondering what it's like at six in the morning in the middle of the wilderness. It's pretty good. Sunday, July 31st, about nine o'clock. We're making our climb up the Haley Pass and we're going over that somewhere, somehow. So that's where we're headed, up and over. Pretty cool. Still, we're like going around Hooker Mountain, which you've kind of seen the past day or two. So, up we go. Good morning, we're about to head up Haley Pass. So I thought I'd give you a little update. You can see Brian coming up the trail behind me. But if I circle around, doo -doo -doo, you can see where we're going right up there. So we'll probably take a little breakfast break and then we'll keep going. Getting closer to Haley Pass. How are we getting up and over this? Its mysteries will be revealed soon. Probably some kind of zigzaggy thing, but really can't tell quite yet where the trail will take us. It won't be straight up. We know that. We're not in New Hampshire. So we'll see you at the top. What's up, guys? We made it to the top of Haley Pass. And right at the top, who did we bump into? But two uh, two women from New Hampshire. Yeah. Crazy. Um, they're up in Hanover, so we chatted with them for a while. And um, here we are. Now we can take a little break, take in the views. It's really cool how they have these really big pass signs um, in, I guess, the Bridger wilderness. So we definitely know where we are, huh? Oh, there's a little lake down there, so they could get water right from there. We also met two other guys coming up, and they said they just camped up here on the pass, and lo and behold, they got plenty of water up here, so that's kind of a cool idea as well.
at Twin Lakes, right off of Halley Pass. And this snow structure overhanging the lake has got to be one of the coolest things I've ever seen. You can see some icicles at the top. Then you got the reflection. And I would not want to be under that thing. Looks like there's a section of it that's going to drop. That is going to make a loud boom when it does. That is crazy. Very cool. It's Sunday afternoon. We made it to Marin's Lake, just shy of 10,000 feet. We're taking this trail to the CDT, but there's, there's the lake right there. Pretty cool. We got one more lake to go to set up camp for the night, unless we see a really good spot here that we just can't resist. Otherwise, we're gonna keep heading down to Dad's Lake. Who knows how it got that name? Well, we're officially on the CDT. First time this trip? We weren't in the CDT in the Grand Teton, right? No. Yep, so our first of many crossings with the CDT in our travels. This is the first one at Marin's Lake, and we're gonna continue down at Dad's Lake or somewhere in between if we see a good spot. That's it for now. Hello, it's Sunday, about four in the afternoon, July 31st. We are at Dad's Lake. We're about halfway through the lake. There's a Donald Lake stream. I'm pretty sure that's what this running water is coming down from Donald Lake. So we found a nice little shady spot and really this, I think the first time since we've been in the Wind River Range, we're actually able to sit outside without getting demolished by mosquitoes there's a occasional mosquito here and there but nothing like it has been so we're just kind of taking in some fresh air without being in the tent still filtering water our filter was like working normally yesterday now it's back to being super slow so who knows what's going on there but we'll get a replacement filter um i still had a cold beer or two to drink so this is from definitive in maine it's only three and a half percent, but it's tasty. And that's probably it. We're gonna have to figure out what we're gonna have for dinner. And we got about a five or six mile hike out tomorrow. Should be pretty cruisy. Even today was kind of cruisy. After we got over the pass? After we got over the pass, yeah. Haley Pass was really cool. Um, just saw a lot of lakes today. And we're still gonna be on the CDT. Is it to the trailhead? almost to the trailhead we'll be on the cdt so who knows maybe we'll see a through hiker or two you never know that's gonna wrap it up for right now on a sunday afternoon um tomorrow's august yeah well sunday afternoon 4 p.m if we were at home we kind of just probably be hanging out watching something on tv or on our ipads maybe still having a beer but um it's a lot nicer being out here <laughs> So we'll see you tomorrow.